I joined the AHEPA in 1947. I joined AHEPA this past fall. I actually first joined AHEPA through their junior order, the Sons of Pericles. Approximately 13 years ago. I joined AHEPA some 50 years ago. 25 plus years ago. 94. 1976. I came from Greece 72, so I joined AHEPA in the mid-70s. The early 80s. 1985. 2007. I was on layoff from General Motors and they said, why don't you join AHEPA? I said, sure. They asked me to join, I joined. My father, all my friends, everybody was a member of the organization. My wife is a daughter of Penelope, uh, chapter 174. I joined because my father was a member. My daughters are part of that chapter. My father wasn't happen, my grandfather wasn't happen. My oldest son, he's part of chapter 195. My dad is very active in the AHEPA. My kids are uh, involved in the junior orders. My 13-year-old, as soon as he's 18, he'll be part of Chapter 195, too. Most Greek Americans become members of the HEBA. Not simply because I'm Greek. I wanted to be part of a fraternity, predominantly to play sports at that time. A friend of the family was in the hospital, and he, and along with another friend, had been asking me to join the organization probably for a couple of years, and I kept putting them off. So I went to visit my friend in the hospital, and I said to him, if you make it home, I said, I'll join the HEPA. He made it home and I joined the HEPA. I'm happy that there's an organization that exists that promotes the Hellenic value system. It gives people of my ethnic background a chance to relate with each other, connected to their ancestry. And applies it to the modern age, to people that are trying to make a difference in their community. The purpose that a HEPA was established was tremendous. In July of 1922, in Atlanta, Georgia, our founding fathers came here and they saw there was a need. When Greeks came to the United States of America in early years, they faced the discrimination. The Greeks in the South were treated like nothing. And that's why those people got together and made this organization based on trying to communicate with one another help one another. Ahaba promotes family. They believe in, in, in their religion, the church, which is Greek Orthodox. Ahaba uh, has been involved very, very much in the life of the church, mingling in the parish work, contributing to uh, various festive occasions, dinners and other things, even sometimes offering facilities in terms of buildings for functions of the parish. Hellenic values believes in not only believing the American values, but also maintaining your roots and your heritage and your culture. American Hellenic Educational Progressive Association. The education is important with us. I'm very proud of the fact that today, Greek Americans as an ethnic group are first in education and second in national income. It's evolved into a more philanthropic organization. It's probably the biggest kept secret because it does so much work. We give scholarships, we raise money for charity. Hospitals, foster homes, or soup kitchens. We help restore the Statue of Liberty. We help with St. Nicholas Shrine in York, whatever we can to make a difference. When I started, we only had two or three housing units. Now we have like 96. That's powerful stuff. St. Nicholas is something that required tremendous contributions. It's a construction that is extremely difficult and expensive. Ahepa was one of the contributors. You have windows that look down exactly across to the memorial site. So imagine people that lost relatives, other people, go there in the bereavement room up there, sit quietly and look down and see the uh, two memorials with the names of their people. Here among the 12 stones, symbolism of the Old Testament 12 tribes, is one of Ahepa. And that's to recognize the significance. But on the other hand, for Ahepa to know that he's going to be there at this monument forever and ever. One of the wonderful things about this organization is the freedom that the chapters have to go out and pursue any avenue that they'd like to be charitable, giving and helping out. Every Saturday before Memorial Day, the local area Ahepa chapters go to Arlington and we lay almost 600 wreaths at the Greek Americans that are buried there. We don't go on the news and say, hey, look at what we do. We do it because it's the right thing to do. Today we're in Flint, Michigan. 
donating 1,944 gallons of milk to the people that are affected by the Flint water crisis because it helps stop the absorption of lead into the body and the bones of individuals, especially children. This was my favorite at Happy Moment so far because it touches my heart to be able to see who you're giving the food to. I'm grateful for the small act of kindness you're doing. We have probably 30 Happens and some daughters of Penelope here, many from Ann Arbor, my home chapter, 195. We hope to make a difference. That's the reason we're Happens. Our strength is in our chapters. Uh, and that strength kind of works its way up to the, to the national level. The first, you know, 50 years, we're just trying to get our chapters to take root. They just grew up the East Coast, and they went to Chicago, and they went to the West Coast. We have a development also on an international level. We have chapters in Canada, a huge presence in Greece, and now we have chapters in London, Paris, Stuttgart, Brussels, and Bulgaria. I was surprised visiting uh, cities in Greece, they have there are some members of HEPA local. I said, what are you doing here? Well, they said, we do what HEPA does in America. I mean, we offer educational and philanthropic assistance to uh, the church here and the, the people here. And we still have that social element that keeps us all together as a family. I enjoy the conventions. It gives me a chance to meet again my old friends. Just enjoy the company of my friends. The Greek parade is extremely important for our community. It's the second largest after St. Patrick's. Now it's the Sunday after March 25th, Greek Independence Day. People come from around the country. Bringing hundreds of thousands of Greeks, Cypriots, Philhellenes to march down Fifth Avenue. It's a way for us to celebrate our history, the gifts that Greece has given to the whole world. The Evzones are coming from Greece, and trying to get Greeks into a single file is very difficult. My favorite HEPA event is uh, HEPA Capitol Hill Day that takes place in Washington, D.C. Chapters come to the Capitol Hill Day to make an appointment with the individual congressperson within their district in their respective chapter. I like to advocate for our low-income senior citizen housing, pushing for our representatives to try and provide as much funding as possible so we can continue to do that good work. It just brings you in of all the work that we do and you want to participate. My favorite part of this organization is the vast network HEPA has at hand for you to make a difference in promoting a cause, whether it's rebuilding of St. Nicholas or sponsoring a group of kids to go to Greece and study right next to the Acropolis. You're joining this legacy, members that included President Franklin Delano Roosevelt and Harry Truman and Gerald Ford, American heroes like John Glenn, who had this notion that a HEPA's mission and service to the community was good enough for Phil Hellenes to join and be a part of because they enjoyed the work that we do and they thought it was good to be part. We want to get the young people involved. We want to have them as a part of our organization and a viable part of our organization. This younger part is not only the future, it's the present too. There's just so much that HEPA has to offer. Someone in the younger generation would be an idiot not to take advantage of. We're helping to promote and to protect the values that were passed on to us thousands of years ago. A HEPA has to maintain the principal values, Hellenism, philanthropy, civic responsibility. My favorite part about being at HEPA is connections you make, the friendships you make. And we've kept these fellowships, these friendships for so many years. We laugh together and we cry together and that's what makes a HEPA a family. Organizations change, the face changes, the leaders change, but the core values, what we stand for as, a, as an organization has not changed by one word. From District 10. I want to wish all Ahepa brothers. Happy 95th birthday, Ahepa. Many, many, many more. To all of my Ahepa family. Happy anniversary. Happy 95th birthday, Ahepa. We share the joy and the happiness of knowing what we've accomplished. And there is still much um, great work uh, to be done. To the order of Ahepa. Happy 95th birthday, Ahepa. From the Daughters of Penelope Worldwide. It is something that I will forever cherish in my heart. We continue to preserve Hellenism together. Long live Ahepa. Happy 95th birthday, Ahepa. If I'm going to say I'm proud to be Greek, of course I am. <laughs> I mean, that goes without saying.